Read and discover. Level 3. Festivals around the world. Introduction. This is New Year in China. New Year is a big festival for Chinese people. In China and all around the world, people walk in the streets, watch dancers and have fun. What festivals are there in your country? Where are these festivals? What do people do on these days? Discover. Now read and discover more about festivals around the world. Chapter 1. In the streets. Come to the carnival. The carnival is the carnival in Rio de Janeiro is in Brazil is one of the most biggest festival in the world. It's always in February or March. There's a parade with big floats. There's music in the streets. People wear colorful costumes. They dance and have fun. Discover the carnival in Rio de Janeiro is all day and all night. Many people don't go to bed that night. On the same day, there was a ca carnival in Venice in Italy. At this time of year, it's summer in Brazil, but it's winter in Italy. The weather in Italy is colder than in Brazil. At the Venice Carnival, some people wear long dresses or clothes. They want to have fun, but they don't want to be cold. The day after the carnival, Christ Christians start the time of Lent. Chapter 2. Lights. For many festivals, people decorate their homes in India. They put lots of pretty lamps in their homes for the festivals of Diwali. They look at the lamps and think about their family and other people in the world. Diwali is usually in October and or November. It's a very big festival for Hindu people in India and for Hindus for all around the world. At the Jewish festival of Hanukkah, people light candles on eight nights. One night they light one candle, the next night they light two candles. On the last night of Hanukkah, they light all the candles. Hanu Hanukkah is usually in December. Children have parents, presents. Fam many families eat pancakes made with tomato, potatoes. They sometimes eat donuts too. Chapter 3. Family and Friends It is the Arabic word for festival. It is a big Muslim festival. At it, people give presents to children and friends. It presents are usually money or things like toys, candies, and youth clothes. At it, Muslims think about other people in the world. They give food and money to hungry people and sick people. People wear new clothes at it. In the morning, they get up wash and put on their new clothes. They eat dates and cookies for back breakfast. Then they go to pray at the mosque. Lots of people hug their friends. Later, they eat with their family. They also visit their grandparents and say, Happy Eid! Chapter 4 Three Kings In the story of Jesus Christ, three good people visited Jesus when he was a baby. They give him presents. Later, Christians called these people the three kings. In January, Christians have a festival called Twelve Nights. It's called Twelve Nights because it's twelve nights after Christmas. At this time, Christians think about three the three kings who visit churches with their parents. In some country, people eat a big cake. Twelfth night is a big festival in Spain. There are lots of parades with people in costumes. People throw candy to children in the street. Discover on twelfth night, Spanish children put their shoes under Christmas trees. In the morning, they find presents in their shoes. Chapter 5. Spring Spring is a very pretty season. Maybe it's the prettiest season of all. 
It usually is sunny and there are lots of flowers. In Japan, people love cherry blossom. These plant flowers open in spring, between January and April. People have picnics under the cherry trees. They sit and eat and they look at the cherry blossom. In Ghana, the rainy season starts in May. This is a good time for farmers, so they have a big festival car called Homowo. They are parades in the streets with music and dancing. Vila Franca do Lima is in Portugal. In May, there's a festival here with lots of flowers. Girls carry flowers on their head. The flowers are very heavy. Chapter 6. Thank you. Fall is a season of festivals all around the world. It's the season of harvest. Farmers cut the crops and pick the fruit. After the harvest, people want to say thank you for the good things in the world. In South Korea, there's a big festival called Chuseok in September or October. Families eat traditional food like rice cakes. Sometimes people also dance. In the USA, the festival of Thanksgiving is in November. In Canada, it's in October. People have dinner with their family. They eat turkey and pumpkin pie. In Europe, there are lots of festivals after the harvest. In Poland, girls wear crowns made of flowers. They dance and sing songs. In Italy, people wear traditional costumes and they dance with red. The red are made of wheat. Chapter 7. Birthdays. Christmas is the birthday of Jesus Christ and it's a big festival for Christians. Many people have a Christmas tree in their homes and there are pretty decorations in the street. All around the world, six have a festival for Guru Nanak's birthday in November. Guru Nanak was a great teacher. Some Sikhs go to the Golden Temple in India. On Guru Nanak's birthday, there are thousands of lambs at this temple. Vesak day, sometimes called Buddha's birthday. On this day, Buddhists think about Gautama Buddha. He was a great teacher in India. They decorate statues of Gautama Buddha. Vesak day is usually in May. Discover, on Vesak day, thousands of birds fly into the sky. Chapter 8. Midsummer. In June, it's summer in Europe. It's usually warm. The nights are short and the days are long. The longest day in the year is June 21 ST. It's called Midsummer. At this time, there are many festivals in Europe. People make big bonfires. Discover in Finland and other countries near the Arctic. It doesn't get dark at midsummer. There's no night. In Russia, at midsummer, people sing and dance all night. Girls pick flowers and make pretty crowns. They crawl the crowns into a lake or a river. Midsummer is one of the most biggest festivals in Sweden. People decorate their homes with leaves. They make a big pole with flowers and leaves. They dance around the pole and sing songs. They wear traditional Swedish, Swedish costumes. Girls make pretty crowns with flowers. Chapter 9. Halloween. October 31 ST is Halloween. Children wear costumes. In the evening, they knock on doors and people give them candy. At Halloween, some people buy a pumpkin. They cut holes in the pumpkin to make eyes, a nose, and mouth. They put a candle in a pumpkin to make a lantern, and a lantern, and a scary face. Stores sell Halloween toys, like skeletons and spiders. People aren't really scared at Halloween. It's fun. The day after the Halloween is a Christian festival called All Saints Day. This is a very big festival in Mexico. People think about their families and visit 
the cemetery. It's not a sad peep festival. People have fun. Children have candy and they play with their brother and sister. Discover in Guatemala on All Saints Day, people fly really big kites. Chapter Ten, New Year. All around the world, there are big festival for New Year. People in different countries do different things. In Spain and Portugal, people eat twelve grapes at midnight on December thirty one St. In Japan, people like laughing at midnight. They say start the year with a laugh, then all the year is happy. In Thailand, people throw water in the streets. They have water over them, but that is not a problem. The weather in Thailand is always hot at New Year. At New Year, many people watch fireworks. Little children sit on their mothers or father father's shoulders so that they can see the fireworks. The fireworks go up, and other people say "Happy New Year." Discover in Sydney, in Australia, there are usually more than eighteen thousand fireworks at New Year.